Something incredible is going to happen to the giant star Betelgeuse this week. Astronomers are 100% sure and you may be able to witness it. No joke folks, be sure to stay tuned to the end to find out what happens to this supernova candidate now. And if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you guys and welcome. It's getting serious this week, folks, this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. But before we get to the actual event, let's clarify what's so special and spectacular about Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a superlative in many respects. Its size leaves even the biggest loudmouths among you speechless. It is a so-called red supergiant, which means that it is at the end of its life cycle and has already used up most of its nuclear fuel. Its diameter is about a thousand times the diameter of our sun. This means that if you were to place Betelgeuse in the center of our solar system, which I have illustrated for you here, its edge would reach all the way to the asteroid belt and the Earth and the inner planets would be engulfed. Everything would go up in stellar flames and we would be dead. Fortunately, this doesn't happen, but it's fascinating to think about, especially when Betelgeuse's size is reflected in its brightness. With an apparent magnitude of about 0.5 magnitudes, it is one of the brightest stars in the sky. This makes it easily visible, even in urban areas with a lot of light pollution, like in my hometown of Cologne in Germany. Betelgeuse thus contributes significantly to the unmistakable silhouette of Orion, one of the most famous constellations in the sky. Let me know in the comments if you have ever spotted Orion in the real night sky and if you can see the stars well in your area, or if you are also plagued by light pollution. Betelgeuse is not only so special because of its size, but also because it is so close to us, it is only about 650 to 750 light years away from Earth. We don't know exactly. So you could say that it lives in our cosmic neighborhood, just around the corner. It's as if you had a huge, fat neighbor whose belly shines so brightly that you can always see it in the neighbor's house at night, or something like that. Well, this proximity to us has enabled astronomers to study it intensively and gain many fascinating insights into stars in general. And this proximity will also provide us with a spectacular opportunity this week. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, as we already know, a type of star that is in a late stage of its cycle. At this stage, the star has used up most of its hydrogen fuel in its core and is now starting to produce heavier elements. Helium, carbon, and so on. These elements are fused inside the star, producing enormous amounts of energy that inflate the star and eventually eject its outer layers into space. Basically like older people, after a long life, they use up all their energy reserves and explode. Okay wait, do pensioners explode at all? Well, forget the comparison. This process at the end of a star's life is dynamic and irregular, which means that stars like Betelgeuse can have natural variations in brightness. But the brightness fluctuations that scientists have measured and seen in Betelgeuse in recent years have been anything but normal. In 2019, Betelgeuse experienced a really drastic dimming. The star abruptly lost brightness, reaching its lowest level in decades. This was so striking that astronomers wondered if it could be a sign of an impending supernova explosion. But Betelgeuse's brightness then returned to normal and this year it even increased massively, reaching 140% of its normal strength in places. So speculation is now running high again and the fascination is absolutely justified, because the Betelgeuse supernova would look absolutely spectacular from Earth, as you can see in this animation. A bright light would appear in the sky, brighter than the full moon, and would even be visible during the day. And not just for one day, but for several weeks. Some of you smart Alex will say, But by the time we see this, the supernova will be long gone. Absolutely right. We don't see anything in the starry sky live, but always as it looked when the light made its way to us. So if we were to see the supernova today, it would have happened 650 to 750 years ago. Nobody knows exactly when it will happen or when it will be visible here. But the eccentric behavior of Betelgeuse strongly suggests that it is imminent, at least on a cosmic scale. So with any luck, we'll live to see it. All the more exciting is what will happen this week. Tomorrow, December 12th, to be precise. There will be an occultation. Does this have anything to do with exorcism? No, it has nothing to do with occult practices. An occultation occurs when an object temporarily obscures another celestial body from our field of vision. And on December 12th, 
Asteroid 319 Leona will temporarily occult Betelgeuse. The asteroid will pass in front of Betelgeuse and block the star's light for a few seconds. Think of it as a smaller version of a solar eclipse, where the moon temporarily blocks the sun, creating a darkening in the sky. The asteroid is much smaller than Betelgeuse, of course, but being that much closer to us, it can eclipse the giant. And now it gets really spectacular. What makes this event special is the fact that the asteroid 319 Leona is the perfect size to create a so-called ring of fire occultation. This means that the asteroid will block the brightest light from Betelgeuse, but some of its fainter features will still shine through. This offers astronomers the opportunity to perfectly study certain details and features of Betelgeuse that are normally difficult to observe. The entire occultation will last only 5 to 10 seconds, but for the astronomer's skillful eyes, this will be enough to gather information about Betelgeuse's surface and temperature distribution, which in turn can provide important clues about the star's internal processes. During the occultation, astronomers could observe changes in the star's brightness in real time and perhaps uncover connections between these fluctuations and stellar processes such as gas eruptions or mass loss through prominences. The fact that the bright inner region is obscured, but the outer layers are not, makes this an absolutely unique opportunity to find out more about the explosive activities. Betelgeuse, for example, is known for its distinctive convective cells, which transport warm material from the inside of the star to the surface. Studying this in detail now could give us a precise indication of how long Betelgeuse is before it goes supernova. But I can already hear some of you asking excitedly. I want to see that. Can I see that? Unfortunately, this will require some effort. To see the event, observers must be within a narrow path about 60 kilometers wide, stretching from southern Europe through Turkey, Greece, southern Italy, southern Spain, and Portugal. Then the path will cross the Atlantic and reach the southernmost tip of South Florida. The exact visibility can be checked on the website of the International Occultation Timing Association, which I have of course linked below. I'm a bit annoyed because I always live in Sicily for long parts of the year, but unfortunately I'm not there right now. For those of you who are like me and don't live near the path of the occultation or have the opportunity to observe it on site, the Virtual Telescope Project will be live streaming the event from December 12th at 2 a.m. German time. And I will of course include the link in the video description below. I will of course keep you up to date on the findings we draw from this. And whether we then know when the supernova happens. But that's only possible if you follow the channel. I know from YouTube statistics that over half of the viewers don't follow the channel. If any of you are watching and haven't subscribed yet, I'd be galactically happy if you did. It's absolutely free. It totally helps me and you won't miss any more galactic videos. And if you want to see more exciting videos about space and science, just click on the video shown. And if you want to do some quick shopping for Christmas, visit the Astro Shop. You'll be supporting my work a lot. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.